million mornings forgotten by the mind of man. Dawn remembers again the magic circle. Stonehenge. circle, observatory, temple aligned with the rising of the sun and the turning of the heavens. Stones from afar brought by man to this place where no stones were before, more than 3,000 years ago. Apollo 11, 15 July, 1969, Cape Kennedy, Florida, the night before the great day. We're going to the moon together, pack your bags and jump into the car. Gonna take a trip to tell you where you are. Six million pounds of machine, 36 stories tall. Nearly 10 years' work of half a million people.
through the night, it was checklisted, double-checked, electronically monitored, computerized, televised, dehumanized of human error. While the night of celebration was ending, the day began for the astronauts. Breakfast, medical examination, suiting up. Neil Armstrong, Commander Apollo 11. Edwin Buzz Aldrin, Lunar Module Pilot. Michael Collins, Command Module Pilot. La tripulación subirá a la camioneta que la To take them to pad 39A, Slayton said, everything is going Far across the Indian River, 12 miles away, the rocket. At 6.32 a.m., three hours before launch, on pad 39A, Armstrong and Aldrin walked on the surface of the Earth. Their next steps would be on the moon. Spectators rolled in by the thousands. Campers, trailers, cars, and pickups filled the campsites and the beaches, lined the highways, lined the parkways, nose to tailgate, Cape Canaveral to Titusville.
this morning. A thin cloud cover about 15,000 feet. Temperature at lunchtime expected to be about 85 degrees. T minus one hour, 29 minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. This is Kennedy. Propellant load pressure and temperature. Digital transmission worldwide tracking. Stabilization and guidance. Radio frequency telemetry and voice communications. Signal conditioner integration. Spacecraft electrical power. Flight control. S4B propulsion stage monitoring. S1C, S2 propulsion stage. Every important valve, gauge, and circuit was continually monitored at Launch Control Center throughout the 28-hour countdown. Countdown is still going well. T minus 55 minutes, 10 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy. Among the 6,000 special guests were a vice president, an ex-president, two plane loads of the diplomatic corps from Washington, 205 U.S. congressmen, 19 governors, 30 senators, 50 mayors from cities across the country, movie celebrities and television personalities, and another two plain loads of dignitaries from Europe. Not so very different from the morning before or tomorrow morning. This day on which man will leave Earth to walk on the moon, three billion people went about their daily lives, some in the way their ancestors did centuries before, others in a world shaped by modern technology. It seemed that most people were unaware that this event might change the history of the human race, that this morning would be marked in history books and learned by their children's children. In what age of man will the meaning of this morning be understood? Control, we passed the six minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. We're on time at the present time for our planned liftoff of 32 minutes past the hour. Coming up shortly, that swing arm up at the spacecraft level will come back to its fully retracted position. This should occur at the five minute mark in the count. The swing arm now coming back as our countdown continues. Skip Chauvin informing the astronauts.